in northern Michigan now is really on the map, becoming noticed internationally for the quality of the Rieslings. But I think even in my experience up here, not only the Rieslings, but the other wines in the region are gaining some credibility. Um, the region now probably has about 50 years of history. So, um, you know, we've gotten some bumps and bruises as, as we've learned along the way. But I think the region is gaining credibility because the growers and the winemakers are, are learning the things they need to learn. Spencer, uh, the proprietor, son of Linda, oversees the process and he typically works in conjunction with Brian Ulbrich. Brian owns a winery in town. Uh, they don't grow any of their own grapes. They outsource all, you know, a negotiant. On the other hand, we uh, do the growing of our own grapes and managing some other vineyard property here and over on the Leelanau Peninsula. But then we have Brian and one other winemaker work to make our wines. We're enthusiastic about sparkling wines. We love to do them. Uh, requires a little bit more time, effort, expense. Um, but Spencer's pretty pumped about producing some really nice sparkling wines, both, both non-vintage and vintage. And uh, Brian loves to produce those as well. So they've been working at doing uh, some Blanc de Mars, some Blanc de Blancs, beautiful vintage Brut Rosé. So those are a lot of fun for us. We've been doing um, a Pinot Noir or a Cab Franc Rosé for the past probably five years. Those are popular. They're gorgeous. People love them. Uh, Pinot Grigio is uh, our biggest seller. Um, it's uh, not our most expensive wine, but probably one of our best loved wines. It's done in an Italian style, very fruit forward. Chardonnay, we've got three Chardonnays. Two of them are unwooded. One is aged in oak barrels. Rieslings, we have five Rieslings ranging from very dry to very sweet. Wow. Um, and three of those really highlight single vineyards either on our property or that we manage. And then in red wines, uh, we have varietals that you would expect in this region. Uh, we've got Cab Franc, um, some Cab Franc Merlot Bordeaux style blends, um, some Pinot Noirs. We've played around with some grapes from outside the region just for fun, and a few dessert wines as well. We have 19 acres of grapes planted here, so we do have some strictly estate wines. We also manage some other vineyard property on Old Mission Peninsula. We purchase from some single vineyards over on the Leelanau Peninsula that belong to good friends of Spencer Steginga. Um, so yes, we work with estate grapes and then branch out into some other, other areas right here. about 18,000. All our wine is produced off-site. So I think both Linda and her son Spencer really uh, take their stewardship of the land here seriously. And they've opted to not pursue that on the property. On Old Mission Peninsula, currently there are 11. Brand new one just opened a number of weeks ago. Over on the Leelanau Peninsula, I think there are about 25 currently. So the region has grown. Depending on the kind of time frame you're looking at, I would say um, it, it's been brisk growth, especially over the past 10 to 15 years. As the region has grown, we're, um, we're on the radar for visitors from Detroit, Chicago, and, and really around the nation. It's the fun and the challenge of having a small winery with limited acreage and limited production. I kind of like that because each vintage brings something new. We do have our wines that we produce year after year that are staples and people love and know they can depend on them. Um, but I would say the real wine lovers get kind of pumped about seeing what the next vintage has brought. It's a great opportunity to explain to people uh, the beauty of, um, of a boutique winery, which is we produce vintage wines, and when they're gone, they're gone.